Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is ExpressJS full tutorial series. In the last episode, we have learned about the CRUD operations using ExpressJS, Node.js and MongoDB. We learned the CRUD operations which is create, read, update, delete along with MongoDB. A lot of you have been writing to me asking me with the connection and the CRUD operations with MySQL. So here we are. Today we are starting ExpressJS with MySQL database. MySQL is one of the most popular open source databases that are heavily used in many organizations. So it makes sense for you to learn and master it, how to work with it. This is part 25 of the ExpressJS full tutorial playlist. I have covered a lot of details about ExpressJS in this playlist. Make sure that you check out all the playlist. Ask me if you have any doubts and let me know if I can be of any help to you. If you are looking for Express and MongoDB operations, please do refer to the previous episodes where we have done a live project as well. Starting today, we are doing with connection with MySQL. So I'll show you how to do end to end along with tools like Postman. So first and foremost that we need is we need a Express um, application, right? So I'm going to show you from scratch because a lot of you um, have asked me that, you know, uh, it, how do you set up with MySQL? Um, uh, like from scratch, that's what I want to show you as well because that's something that a lot of people asking. All right, so the first step is we'll create a project. I have an empty directory, I don't have anything. So the first command you will we will run is npx express generator. What this does is it will generate the shell skeleton project for us. Now remember a lot of you also write to me that you try it and you don't get it. So the only uh, prerequisite prerequisite for using this tutorial is you should have a Node.js installed on your machine. You should have latest npm. OK, so you can check them by just writing node hyphen V or NPM hyphen V on your machines. All right. So the next step that we did was generate the Express application. So this is a jump start, right? Which means Express generator will generate a lot of code which you need readily. So the command that I did was Express generator. OK, so like I said, I'll just quickly show you these two, like how to check node hyphen V. So it will give you the node version and similarly NPM hyphen V. So this will give you the NPM version. These two, you should have it installed. Now we got the basic of our application up and running. Now I have explained this folder structure. I've explained all of this in the previous uh, episode. So please make sure that you check out the playlist link. Okay. Check out the playlist link not list, <laughs> list link for um, initial setup and project structure details. OK, so that's what I've already done it. So I'll not waste time here. Now, the next thing we need is MySQL database. Right now, there are diff you can do this in different, different ways. OK, there is no right way to do it. There are multiple ways of doing it. All are correct you can install MySQL on your machine directly, directly from the MySQL website. You can go to mysql.com and download the latest version. Download latest version. Okay, this is one way. The other way that I suggest or I prefer is using some distributions like XAMPP or VAMP. Now this stands for anywhere you can run. It's an Apache based um, distribution, right, which runs on any operating system. VAMP stands for Windows, right? So this is Windows specific. XAMPP can run on any distribution. The benefit is this comes with default with latest MySQL. It also has PHP support. Okay, these two have PHP support. They also have best parties. They have applications like PHP MyAdmin which helps us manage with the MySQL databases. It's like a graphical user interface. OK, GUI tool. This also comes with the PHP MyAdmin tool, which is again a GUI tool to manage. To manage the MySQL databases. So uh, the example in this example, 
I already have that installed. I already have XAMPP installed. Okay, you can download it. These are free, right? So that means you can download it yourself as well. Just search for it and you should get it. There is no complexity in installing. Just do next, next, next. It should do it, the trick. So I have it XAMPP. I'm assuming that you also did this setup and you have a MySQL on your machine, either through any of this process. Now, that being said, I will open the PHP, my admin tool. Now, this, like I said, this is a GUI tool to manage the MySQL databases. Okay. The reason is if you are going to work with MySQL database, you better have one of the UI tool to manage it. Now, if I have to quickly show you, this is the start page of XAMPP. So when you install XAMPP, when you run, it's running Apache, MariaDB, MySQL also. So go to PHP MyAdmin, you will see the MySQL. Now you can create your own um, database here. You can create new tables, everything that you want. So if you want to create a new table, we can create number of columns, go, and we can say comment underscore ID, comment underscore title, comment underscore description, comment underscore is active. Okay, so I'm just throwing in few fields. You will set the varchar and set a length, say 500. Varchar means the text that you want to have, hold, how much text it can hold. Um, this integer, you can have it 0, 1, whatever uh, you want to have it, uh, yes or no, enum. You have so many data types that um, are available in MySQL. I'm not going to go into that detail um, because this is not a MySQL tutorial. This is a ExpressJS MySQL connection tutorial. So I'll keep this very, very basic for now. I'm going to use not null. I'm going to use primary key and I'm going to say auto com auto increment, right? And let's create this table. So I got the simple table created. It doesn't have any data yet. Okay. It doesn't have any data. This is the basic structure of this table we will work with. All right. So create database because you will need that. Okay. Create database um, that you want to work, have the credentials because when you want to connect through ExpressJS, you will need these details like username and password for MySQL connectivity. Okay. These are all the prerequisites that you need to set up before you start working with ExpressJS and MySQL. Now, now starts the work with ExpressJS. So first install the MySQL driver. Okay. Now, a lot of people, they don't do this setup. Okay. They don't do this setup of MySQL. So what happens? This driver is only used to connect between MySQL and ExpressJS. It will not install MySQL for you. Okay. So this is where a lot of people will make mistake, which is they do not install MySQL and wonder that it is not working, right? It will not work. This is just a driver to provide connectivity and operations. Provide connectivity and operations. Okay. So how do you install the MySQL driver? You'll say npm install MySQL. This is how you will install the package which will help us to connect. So if you see here, it is saying MySQL 2.18.1. The package got added. Now, the next step we will do is since this is a shell project, right? It's a shell project and we just got MySQL driver. So what we will do next is npm install. We need to do npm install. So all the required modules will be installed from this package.json. This requires all these dependencies, right? So it will install all the packages. So it has got all the packages. Now we see node modules folder all set. Now it's the time to run, run the basic as is application first. And to run, if you see the command, it says start. So you just have to run npm, npm run start, npm run start. So you would see that it will tell you on which port it is running once it has compiled and got all the things ready. Okay. All right. 
so now it is compiling and it will give us the details and we will need a tool called postman okay postman is an api postman api tool which is used for communicating or sending uh, testing and developing i'll say developing and testing apis okay so i would suggest if you have not using it start using it this is what is used across most i would say 99 percent companies they use it, use this for api work slash development slash testing okay so let's open that here it's free you can download it now you just say localhost 3000 and send it says not for not for not found so what we need to do is we need to find a route that we are going to hit so we are going to hit slash users let's say slash users so it still says not found okay let's see why let's see whether the request is coming so it's the request is coming see you can see here the request is coming let's see why our routes are not configured so we can say this is there so the other way of testing it is you can say localhost 3000 right and simply so it says welcome to express that means our api is up and running okay our api is up and running you can see it here as well so it is saying get 200 api is good so far so good cancel this you can use nodemon as well if you prefer that's another way if you prefer nodemon that way it will monitor your last process and you don't have to close or restart again again this is up to you optional okay now step number 11 now we are going to connect the database okay so i'm going to the users route here we will do the route configuration okay let's get started there's a lot of work okay so first thing uh, okay so we got this done so in the app.js okay that's the main starting file for you right that's where we are saying use routes right so here we will import or even better let's create a file and i'm going to create a file here and i'm going not inside routes outside create a route and call it db score config.js you can give any name no need for db js you can give any name of your choice like config.js or etc etc so the first thing we'll do is we'll create a constant and import it okay we'll say mysql equal to require mysql okay so what we are doing we are just creating an instance and then saying create connection okay and let's take it into a variable and say connection equal to create connection now we need to pass the string okay so this takes multiple parameters so stay with me and when i type this so the first parameter is host here you will provide what is the in my case it is local host mostly it would be the uh, local host that you're running in the next thing that you need to provide is the user credentials if you are running on windows it is root there is no password but if you are doing on Linux, you, you might want to check on that. Or if you have set any password, provide that. I have not set any, so it would be blank. If you are a, if you are not changing anything on MySQL side, it would be blank. Then you need to provide the database name that you want to work with. The database I have is R Tutorials. Okay. Now I have created the connection. Now what I'll do? I'll just throw in a condition and say if connection dot. So you see all the methods come into picture whatever is we can do with it so i'm going to say dot connect try connecting to this mysql connection with host name localhost username root password is empty and database is arc tutorials let's connect it and then we are going to say function if it errors right what should we happen so now i'm saying if not error that means if the if there are no errors right or we can say if not not error if there are no errors then cons or if there are any errors console log so basically we are just capturing if it is there or not else we know that 
it's connected connected okay so that's how you form the connection and once you have done it all we have to do is let's export this as a module module dot exports is equal to export the connection which can be used everywhere now this is a generic common code of configuration right now i will import this into my app.js i'm going to say where my sql equal to require i'm going to say dot slash db config okay so that is how we will import now i'm going to run this to see whether it is working or not till here so again npm run start and it says connected right so now what i'm going to do i'm going to give wrong database okay so if you see here my database name is arc tutorials right my database name is arc tutorials but i'm going to pass a wrong db so that it cannot connect and i want to see the error so now you see npm run start it says bad request not found right db error unknown database okay so it says unknown database so we know that it is not working perfect so far we have got whatever we wanted all right so what did we do we connected through the mysql right and we did the npm run start okay then we created our db config file for mysql and provided all the details here like this right we provided all the details and we exported it we exported the db config run the app again and we should see connection successful message which is connected in our case here right so which is connected here right so we got this sorted so far this is the groundwork we have to do in order to start with mysql crud operations okay so this is what is required for you to start with mysql crud operations and that's what i just explained here um, all the details for you i'm not going into the theory uh, like what is um, mysql crud which is create read update delete uh, this is all the theoretical explanation i don't believe in theory but for you i have covered it here uh, so make sure you check it out uh, go through this if you are new to mysql and want to go through the, some of the theoretical explanation i have assumed that you know mysql and want to work with that but this is notes for you please do go through it it will really help you i, I put a lot of effort in creating this content for you so make sure you go through them read through it pause it read through it ask me if you have any doubts all right so this is the connection details that we just did we exported the module next episode onwards we will start with our crud operations which is mysql express get method okay we will create some data we'll try and retrieve the data using the get method join me in the next episode and learn about the get method thank you so much please do check out the entire playlist to learn and master express thanks again